My name is Tony Roseland. I'm from the Pacific Northwest, Spokane and Seattle. I'm a commercial photographer, specializing in product, food, and architecture. So I've been in this business since I was born, really. I'm a third generation photographer. So my father, my uncle, and my grandfather are all photographers. I grew up in the family studios. It was my first after school job. I moved up from that into shooting business headshots and ultimately into commercial photography. I just kind of fell into product photography. Uh, I was doing portraits and weddings and I hated it. It just started to feel like the same thing all the time and product photography to me is different every day. Every product is just a little bit different and it, it just it's what gets me out of bed in the morning. Anytime I've had to teach photography, it's been based on questions that people email me or call me with, and I figured it's easier to teach this stuff to the masses rather than trying to teach it to each individual person. Most common types of questions I get are on gear. It's, it's amazing how hung up people get on gear. I'm hoping that through this tutorial, we can kind of get past that and show them that it's not about the gear. Uh, it's more about how you use that gear and using the right gear for the right image. I think if we can get better images out on the market, then clients start to see better images and they start to demand better imagery. I wanted to make this tutorial because I'm good at product photography and I got a lot of stuff to share. I've made a lot of mistakes through trial and error over the course of my career and I don't want others to have to go through the same headaches that I had to go through. I love photographing electronics, specifically headphones. I think that the design in these, in these things these days, they have so many textures and colors and surfaces that they present a ton of challenges, and that's what I enjoy, is trying to figure out a way around those challenges when it comes to product photography. Uh, the most challenging photography is also the most rewarding part, and that's the process of being creative every day. It's sometimes it's hard to turn that on and off like a spigot. I see a lot of photographers come and go, and I think a lot of that is because they don't have the skills or they don't have the knowledge for the business side of photography. And that's a real important aspect of it. And I've been fortunate enough not only to have the photography skills and talent, but also the business skills and talent. I think that post-production in Photoshop is very important in product photography. If you don't have a knowledge in that area, you're gonna have a tough time. We do a lot of compositing uh, in product photography and being able to effectively use Photoshop to bring these image pieces together uh, for one finished image is, is really an important part of the process. You know, you can't give up as a photographer. Um, to make it in this business, you gotta work every day at it. There's, there's no free rides here. Um, if you're not creating images, if you're not building relationships, you're not gonna be successful at this business. My dream job is pretty much the one that I already have. You know, I can't think of doing anything that would be better than being a commercial photographer. I get to be my own boss, I make my own hours, and I get to create art for a living. What's better than that?